my name is keerti and i am your teacher for today's session i have completed my masters in computer science and after that i am taking coding classes and now i am i have been teaching kids from last 7 year, years i'll be taking this session for all of you and i hope the session is going to be a wonderful session for each and every one over here so we are going to do a lot of fun during this this complete session so i'm telling you what coding is see by coding we can create our own games and applications like we are here and we are talking to each other so we are using a language for that we are using english for communication right in the same way if you want to communicate with computer then you have to use the language that computer understands if i will speak in french if i will speak in french you all will be able to understand me no you will not be able to understand me because we don't know french right so in the same way computer can't understand our languages like human languages so computer can understand only those languages which are meant for computer so today i'll be teaching you how to create an app and we are going for a virtual tour of zoo you may have not visited zoo from last 6 7 months today we are going to create a virtual zoo app many kids are there so i'll be teaching you how to create the app but in the further sessions you will also be creating the app at your side using your login ids and password so this is the platform where we have to work first while creating any app or game we have to follow four basic steps while creating any game or app the first step is i am telling you all the four steps to create any game or app while creating any game or app the first step is that you have to think what you are going to create first you should think that which app or game you are going to create today as i already told you we are going to create a virtual zoo today we are going for the tour of a virtual zoo so this is our purpose today that we are going to create a virtual zoo project after deciding that what you are going to create second step is that you will design your game or you will design your app after designing your app your app will not work and your game will not work so to co to make your game or app work you have to do the third step that is coding you have to code your game or app to make it work after that you have coded your game and app now you want to see that it is working or not you want to see after that then you should run it you have to run it to see that it is working or not understood so these are the four steps next think think design code and run these are the four steps which we have to follow then the second step is designing so can you see a design button over here we have to click on that and this is the design environment for our app now i am telling you about the interface first and then we will start see in the left hand side there is a mobile kind of screen this is a mobile simulator this is not a real mobile but this mobile simulator will show you how your app will look on the mobile screen you are using various various apps on the mobile phones whenever you will using your app on the mobile you before creating your app you want to see how it will look on the mobile screen so this mobile simulator is for that purpose after mobile simulator is design toolbox and all the components which are required for your app so in youtube there is a play button to play the videos there is a scroller to scroll the videos forward and backward these things on the app are called components of the app like if you have uh, played the minecraft game steve is a component you can say that is a character using which you can play the game minecraft okay so these things are called components here in our virtual app virtual zoo app i am changing the image to tomcat our tomcat will welcome the persons who will visit the zoo so this is screen 1 i am changing the name of screen to main screen and image we can click on choose upload file see tomcat is here with a bunch of flowers in her hand okay 
so this is our welcome screen main screen but it's not doing anything if i click on run okay if i want the tomcat to do anything then i have to do the third step that is code i want tomcat to say welcome welcome to the zoo which animal you want to see so i will go to code and see i have already recorded the sound i'll be using the block play sound click here choose which sound we want to choose animals and we can use the cat sound here cat some sounds are already available here but some we have to we can record also if you will be clicking on reset see make new sounds and you can record your own sound here as well so i have already uh, taken help from one of the student to record a sound so i'm using this sound over here so you can record the sound in your voice as well choose now if i will click on reset and run okay so this much is done this is the welcome screen welcome screen but we are not able to see any animal over here so for that what we have to do we will be using button i'm using button and in various buttons we can write the name of various various animals and when you will click on the particular button you will be able to see that animal and you will be able to hear the sound of that particular animal okay see i am using four buttons over here so which animal you want to see can you tell me okay we will use elephant tiger and we will use duck also and horse okay see in the right hand side i can see the properties of that button and from here i can change the properties also id id is the name of your button the name of your button is button 3 i am changing it to monkey and in the text also i am writing monkey okay see the text has changed here also it's written monkey over here now now in the same way i'm changing the text on other buttons as well i'm writing lion sound is not there so i'm using tiger tiger third is elephant and fourth is i'm using duck in place of sparrow i'm using duck okay so all the four buttons are created now after that now if i will run and if i will click on mon monkey nothing is working tiger elephant duck can you tell me why is it not working kids ma'am maybe we did not put a background or we did not put a code yes we have not coded it it will work only when we will code it so how we can code we have to click on code for that code see in the left hand side mobile simulator is same but here the toolbox has changed and we will be using these blocks to code our app okay like i have done for play sound i'll be telling you that also once again but if we want to see the different different animals then we have to create the screens for those animals as well so we have to click on design and we will create the screen for monkey tiger elephant and duck here i am clicking on new screen and i am giving the name monkey screen so if it is a monkey screen then i want the picture of monkey over here so what i can do i can upload the picture of monkey image choose and again upload file and as i already told you that i have already downloaded some pictures from chrome so i am using the picture of monkey here is the monkey open and then i will click on choose monkey monkey's image is there now i have to create a screen for tiger as well new screen i will name the screen as now which image i want over here tiger image. tiger yeah so i'll be using tiger image over here tiger image is here now i have to create elephant screen elephant i have to write elephant screen and i'll be using the picture of elephant so how many screens i have created up to now one is the main oh. screen okay main screen and three screens for different animals so which animal mm -hmm. is left now so in the same way we can do for duck also so i'll be using one more screen why my elephant image is not there just a minute let me see yeah choose now it's there 
Now we have to import a new screen for duck as well. I am writing duck screen over here. I am using GIS not, not images. See, now duck is there. Now all the images are done. Okay, but one thing is still left. If you will be clicking on monkey, you will be able to see the monkey screen. When you will click on tiger, you will be able to see the tiger screen. But what if we want to see one animal after other? Then we have to use the next button also. Okay, so we will create the next button also. But before that, I am telling you how to code these buttons. Monkey, tiger, elephant and duck. So as I have already clicked, it, clicked on code, I will take the block on event. On event means when. When you will click on monkey, you want to see the monkey on the screen. Because you are here for a virtual tour of the zoo, then you want to see the monkey. So here on event, you will choose the ID. Which ID we have to choose? Monkey. Because when you will click on this monkey, then you want to see monkey screen. So we will be using the other block that is set screen. Which screen we want to see? Monkey screen. Here we will write monkey screen. Okay. But in the starting, remember one thing. In the starting of our project, when we will be opening our app, we want to see this screen always. This screen should come first. For that, I have to use set screen in the starting and I have to use main screen. Because in the starting, I want main screen. And I want to hear the cat sound and I want to hear the welcome sound. That's why I have to use this before on event. Now I'm click, clicking on run. If you will click on monkey. See, you are able to see the monkey now. So we will go to animals and we will choose the monkey sound. Here is monkey. Click on choose. Now when you will click on reset, run, monkey. In the same way, we can create the screen, uh, cre we can code the, all the buttons. We can code all the buttons in the same way. So I'm doing it for you. I will take the on event block again. Then when I will click on duck, so which screen I want? Duck screen. So here we will be using play sound and which sound we want to play for duck screen, which sound you want? Duck sound. Choose. In the same way, we will be doing for other as well. So now, which animal you want? Who want elephant screen? Someone told me that I want elephant screen. Ele elephant screen. Elephant. Okay, okay. And which which sound you want to hear? Elephant. Sound. Elephant sound. We will be using the block play sound. Play sound and with sound, elephant sound. So here you can write elephant. See, elephant sound is there. Now, only tiger is left. We will be using tiger because the name of our button is tiger. And the name of our screen is tiger screen. So we will be using set screen, tiger screen. And play sound. So which animal you want to see? Tell me. Then you have to click on reset, run and duck. Our app is not proper. Why is it not proper? Because we are not able to see one animal after other. Now what we want to do? We want to create our app in that way so that after elephant we will be able to see the monkey. Then we will be able to see the duck and after that we will be able to see the tiger. So for that thing what we have to do? We have to create a next button. See reset. We will go to design and we will open the elephant screen and take one button over here and on this button we will be writing I am writing duck1 over here because duck I have already used the name of other button is duck so if I will be writing duck over here it will not work because we can't use same name for two buttons id can't be same text can be same text I can use duck over here also but id can't be same like if you are, whenever you are going to school, you, you have been assigned roll numbers. So two students can't have same roll numbers if they are in same class and same section. 
okay so we can't use same ids for two buttons so that's why i have written duck one over here okay on the monkey screen i'm using one button and here i'm writing tiger one and in the text i'm writing tiger text can be same but id can't be same then which screen is left duck screen so on duck screen okay so now when you will be clicking here on elephant then you will be able to see the elephant in this way we have to code so we will be using on event for that on event where you want to click now we will be clicking on duck one so what do we want to see we want to see the duck screen in that case so in the same way as we have coded for the those buttons we have to code for these buttons as well run i'm clicking on elephant and now if i will click on duck over here i'll be able to see the duck but i'm not able to hear the duck sound so here again i have to use the block play sound so in this way we will be able to see the next animal after that so i'm creating this app that much only i'm saving it save now i'll be sharing it with you after the class okay i hope all the doubts are clear you already uh, you already got to know what coding is and how it can be helpful for you all bye students take care i hope to see you in the further sessions bye it was a great session bye ma'am bye 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 ma'am bye, bye. 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 bye.